Good morning, Solid Steppers. What's up, Tech the Titans? This is Miss Ward coming to you. Right now, I'm coming through Hartford, um, Alabama, headed to Panama City. I'm on Alabama 167, which turns into 79 in Florida. It's right into Panama City. So what I want to talk about is people always ask me, how do I do this stuff daily? And what is you know, my regimen and, and what I do? So basically what I do is, depending on the night before, um, I try to make sure all my paperwork, everything's handled on a daily basis because I feel like each day is a clean slate. And because each day is a clean slate, it allows me the opportunity to wake up refreshed and ready to go. Like it took everything I had to stay in the bed later today because I'm used to getting up between four and five. But because it's been a week, I try to force myself to get additional sleep when needed. Because one of the things I think that keeps us from being successful in the appliance repair business is lack of sleep, lack of organization, uh, which impedes our ability to be productive on the proper things. You should always be productive, number one, on what's going to make you more profitable and what's going to make you more marketable and give you the ability to charge premium fees. You are the product. And when you are the product, there are things you have to do. You have to take care of your appearance. You have to make sure that you are presentable going in customers' homes. Uniforms need to be on point. If you can't afford it, take your butt down to Walmart and get some Dickies. My favorite uniform, though, is 5'11s. If you know anything about the 5'11s, it's like tactical uh, outerwear. But they have these pants called the Stripes. Uh, and they are really good. They have lots of pockets. They're very durable. And they last a lot longer than Dickies. I think they run anywhere from $75 to $115. But when you buy one pair of Dickies, you're spending 30 bucks. So you want to have something that you can use to store tools in, additional things to, you know, that you need. But at the same time, it's nice and uh, fits really well. Um, and of course, I get my shirts from Amazon. If anyone kind of seen me on some of my podcasts or, you know, things of that nature, I always have on a, it's really an automotive shirt, like a style shirt, but you can buy them off of Amazon. I think they're like 30 bucks each, but you know, and I just ship them directly to Embroid Me, who has my label, uh, my logo and all that stuff. And they simply do it. And then I grab them and keep it moving. And I, you know, do my shirts maybe every two months because you want to keep the colors sharp. Now, I'm saying all this because um, the reality is most people don't know. Some people just sloppy in life. They're comfortable. They're casual for life. Well, when it comes to business, you can't be because that customer has seen losers before you. They've seen non-professional people before you. So their attitude in most cases has already been jaded. Your job is to walk in and and you know, fix that to wipe, take that off the table. So then that is out of their mind. You need to speak up and be articulate and intelligent, you know, or portray that. You know what I'm saying? I know people who portray it all the time and they are none of those, but that's another conversation um, and things of that nature. But I try to make sure I, I can't do that if I'm not rested. So I get up, you know, the night before I try to do my power list, shout out to Andy Frazilla, you know, the top five things I want to get done the next day. And then when I wake up in the morning, I tweak it. And if I didn't get to do it, I do it in the morning. And the reason is, is that we are machines. What people don't understand is you really a machine. Like you really can program yourself to do anything, but you first need to write it down. Writing is so important because it activates something called your reticular activation system, which is in the back of your brain. Yes, I'm technical and I'm getting in the game, but I'm t you ask me, I'm telling you how I do what I do. You know, the thing is, is that I know this because I learn and I read and I absorb information and I apply it. Just like Tim Ferriss, I human hacked the heck out of my life, which is why at my age, which people freak out about, I'm so productive. To me, I'm not productive enough. This is mediocre and banal in my brain. Like, I could do so much better because I, my standards aren't other people's standards. I have standards for myself simply because I'm aware of what I can do when I set my mind to it. And I don't 
walk in any circles that don't celebrate that level of brilliance. I don't have conversations with people and strain my, my intellectual bandwidth because they can't keep up. It's not my problem. And I'm not knocking anybody because you got to realize I was just as ignorant. I mean, I didn't grow up with what you see where I am now. I had to build this. I'm constantly building it. There's so many areas in my life that I need to be excellent in and I am mediocre or even lower. And I know that. See, I know my stuff. That's why I can tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm very open and transparent about it because I'm clear about what it takes not only to be successful, but to win on a consistent basis. You know, you are never going to win if you are not consistent and you're not compounding the effects of that consistency. You know, people give up on themselves before they even wake up in the morning. All this, all that. Yeah, I have negatives all day long. What? Negative self-talk all day long. I have to do these videos. I have to stay immersed. I don't know what's up with these animals in the middle of the road today. Because I just saw a squirrel back in uh, Enterprise, Alabama with his stuck, chest stuck out with a damn nut in his hand just standing there like I'm not going to hit him. You know, but I went around because, you know, I don't want I want good karma. But you know what I mean? The whole world is on something right now. So at the end of the day, you better get yours and get it together. You know, so those are the things I do. I get up. So this morning I got up, tweaked my schedule, reviewed the schedule, made sure I communicated via text and template to customers confirming their appointments again. And at the same time, any parts I need. I always make sure I check and have them because how many times have you gotten to a dang job? Shout out to Florida, crossing the Florida line. You've been on a job and um, you don't have a part. Like I was crying like a baby yesterday because I couldn't remember. I knew I had this part, but I wasn't organized at the level I need to be. And I had my apprentice and subcontractor with me going through training um, in Alabama. And, you know, that was a whole nother distraction, making sure they didn't break something or embarrass me. You know how that goes. But at the end of the day, you got to have your game together. You know, you have to hold you accountable. This is why I preach about that self-discipline. Perfect one part of the discipline and then layer another one when you know that first part is consistent. The only time we fall out of line and fall out of grace is when we are not holding ourselves accountable. You everybody listening to me on this video knows some stuff they need to work on and they know that this is self-inflicted adversity they're going through because they made jacked up choices and now it's time for them to take responsibility as a man and woman and fix it close your ears to everybody and everything that is not supporting that you fixing your life fixing your business and starting to grow it is not going to be easy because I'm not fluffing and telling you that, but it will be great because you will have that level of independence that you designed. You are designing your life. Your only reason you're not successful is because you're not designing your life and you're listening and surrounded by losers. It's, just, it's that damn simple. Sometimes you got to be by yourself. A lot of y'all ass don't want to be alone. Be alone. Listen to the demons. Listen to the voices that's keeping you down. And understand that you're bigger and brighter than that, that you are wonderfully made and were put on this earth for nothing but greatness, to enjoy it, not to suffer and struggle. And when you understand that, life gets good, it gets great. I'm not going to say it get easy, but you have a purpose and you have a why. And that's what this video is for, that person that needs that purpose and that why. The mere fact that you got up this morning, please... The mere fact that you got up and had an opportunity to make a different choice when somebody would never see the light of day again because of a choice they made or because their time was up. Understand that each moment we have on this earth is precious, so precious. Please don't take it for granted. I'm telling you, this is not only am I talking to you, please understand I'm talking to me. You know, a lot of people listen to me and they're like, Miss Ward is so deep, Miss Ward is this, but y'all got to understand. I'm very clear that what comes through me has nothing to do with me. I understand because I love y'all, but I keep trying to tell y'all, I don't love y'all like making a video every day. I don't love y'all like getting on here and sharing my personal challenges and testimonies. 
because I am the kind of person I am so antisocial, even though it looks like I'm not. And I'm only that way because I am a giver. I have my own codependent struggles where I want to make sure that everybody around me good and then I be without because that's just how I was raised that I was not first. I mean, it just is what it is. A lot of times that's just life. Your parents do the best they can. And I'm not knocking my mom because she was a single mother with three girls, you know, and um, she did the best she can. That's why in all things I salute her. Because my work ethic, my intellect, all that stuff comes from her. Shout out to my father who's no longer with us. I lost him. He died when I was 12. This, he was a man that a lot of people looked up to that had his own struggles. But see, that's called being human. I'm never going to take anything from that man because everything in my DNA, him and my mom gave me. The, the fact that I can get up and do things that other people think are impossible is because those people came together in a moment and had me. So I understand a lot of people have struggles with their families in the past and mine is no different, trust me. Because there's a lot of stuff I look back and I'd be like, really lady? Really dude? Like really? You know, but at the end of the day, you are responsible for you. You thank them for the donation the sperm and the egg and you keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Because you have the power to change and control your life. You never have to you never have to look where you what you've been like what you've been through or where you came from. It's up to you to decide where you want to go. All right, y'all. Much love, much success. And remember, you can do anything you want to do. Be blessed. Miss Ward signing off. And what do we do? Let's go. Get it.